What's up? Hey guys, so it's been so many months and stuff that I haven't like made a video or done anything like that. Um, I got some new equipment, I got a new camera. So yeah, I'm super excited. Um, I'm gonna try to be consistent in the YouTube video. I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty insecure about just like, I don't know, myself. So that's something that's definitely slowed me down in making video and um so yeah but um tonight i'm gonna show you guys my eve like my nighttime um skincare routine and the things that i do to before i go to bed um the products i use to wash my face and yeah let's get into it oh yeah also fun fact last night I shaved off all of my hair. I look freaking crazy. Like I'm going into the army. I would slit my wrist before I really ever did that in life. But um, I cut my hair myself and I will admit this is the worst job I've ever done. Um, shaving my own hair, like my father paid me a visit today and he was like bruh you need to go to a barber and I tried to explain to him my methodology of how and why I cut my hair the way I did because I am planning on growing it back out to my fro state I'll, I'll put that picture in there just so you can have an idea of what it looks like since I deleted so many images on my Instagram and so forth just so you can have idea what the future has in stores for my hair with that being said, let's get back to the skincare routine. I'm gonna go bring my camera into the bathroom. The lighting won't be as good as it is right now in here. So, sorry about that. Um, but let's get to it. Okay, so I was talking just now for like about five minutes until I realized I'm not filming, I wasn't recording. So, I'm here in the bathroom about to start my skincare routine. I'm gonna start with the Best Day Number 9 from Drunken Elephant. This is really good if like you have makeup on and you wanna remove some makeup and things like that. And then also like if you have oily skin, it's really good to just remove any excess oils, any impurities. I started off using this because I was using the Drunken Elephant Daily Moisturizer. And I think that was it. I feel like I had a sample size of like another product of theirs that I can't recall the name of it right now but usually like I wanted to try to see if I could use the whole skin like all of all my skin products be from the same brand but they're expensive pretty like you know this is um $32 at Sephora and then the daily skincare part one was like $68 so I was like, let me see if I could try something else out from Sephora that is more affordable. So right now I'm using a Sephora name brand um, moisturizer, um, like a hydraulic acid daily moisturizer. And I'm using like a night sleeping mask and I'm using a under eye brightening cream from Sephora. It's their like Sephora brand. Um, but that's actually not what I'm going to show you guys right now tonight. Um, I will be using the night bright under eye brightening cream but i'll be using a l'oreal face mask um i actually was using the um Sephora um night sleeping mask and i can't say that i love it i can't say i really saw a big difference on my face from using it compared to the l'oreal sleeping mask that i've used for a very long time before that so yeah let's get into it And since the water's been running, it's a little bit hotter now. So after washing my face, I feel like my pores are more open. So then I like to go in with this again. So 
So guys, for product number two, I like to use this St. Eve's. The St. Eve's Blackhead Clearing Green Tea Scrub. Um, it clears blackheads and unclogs pores. So yeah, parabens free, dermatologist tested, very good. And what I like to use is also this little spoodle thing from Sephora that has a little brush. It has a little brush here at the end. And then it has this little spool where you can applicate at the end. I'm gonna go ahead and apply. This is what it's like. I don't know if you guys can see the little consistency of it. But it's, it's very smooth and you'll feel very, very, very fine like things on it because that's what you will, that's what will make your, that's what makes it be something to exfoliate, right? An exfoliant. So here I am applying it. I usually am the type to overdo these type of things. One really, I feel like this is a good tip, is if you wear contacts, take out your contacts because this, when you wash it out, you kind of don't feel, like you will feel it in your fingers, like these little, there's just like little things in here that makes it be an exfoliant. So what I've realized before is that sometimes when you're washing it out of your face, it will, if it gets in your eye, you know, you have to just like thoroughly wash your eye, but if you have contacts on, which I do right now, it just makes everything like so much more complicated. And, I'm putting it under my, my under my chin and my neck area because usually any skincare product I've realized they always recommend you putting it on your face as well as on your neck, especially like overnight cream, any retinal cream, any like um what's it called, any like anything for your rejuvenate your skin and and I grow facial hair here and I shave, you never know, like this could probably help just open up my pores so that I don't get any in clog, I mean any ingrown hair. So, do that. Then I'm gonna use my little spoodle. Obviously, if you like to use rags and stuff like that during these type of things, like when you're in the shower or when you're washing your face, like use a rag. The rag is really good as well. I just use this because I have it and I feel like let me put it to use. But just to make sure, because this is like, it does have like, you know, little spaces in between it and so forth, I do like to go in with my finger before I do that. Actually, what I said would happen, happen. I got some in my eye a little bit. I just rinsed it out in cold water after I rinsed out all of my face in pretty hot water to like open up my pores. So now, now I'm gonna go do my clay mask. I will be using this spoodle here on this end to apply it all over. Stay tuned. Okay, y'all, so <clears throat> for the next steps, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a mix of Indian. I'm gonna mix a bit of the Indian char healing clay with the activated charcoal. You get both of them on Amazon super cheap and I'm gonna mix it in this bowl with my spoodle I already have some water in here warm water um, 
if you i normally mix it with um some apple cider vinegar but i ran out so i'm just gonna use regular lukewarm water um so yeah so here it is i don't want to spill this you see it in there so if you've never used indian oh shit do have to get like sometimes you gotta get your finger in there you know you gotta really press it in make sure it's mixed with the water or whatever you use and i am gonna use a spoodle but i will be honest this will be the first time i use a spoodle i usually use my fingers to apply this so i'm not gonna lie i'm actually just gonna use my fingers I recommend mixing enough to where it's an actual clay consistency as you see here, right? You don't want it to be too liquidy because then it just becomes a mess and it's hard to apply on your face. Almost like you're contouring a little bit. I like to do that so that I stretch my face and I make sure that it's getting with like in inside any creases any of the pores just to make sure it's doing what it needs to do so just a few things here just so you guys keep in mind normally if you use this it will not be this dark it is this dark because i've mixed it with the activated charcoal so normally it will be a lighter gray another thing you don't have to put this much on your face i just overdo it and i like to make sure i have the product on my face that's with like anything i use but yeah i'll stop applying now because at this point it's just like my skin is probably like what are you doing can i dry can you let me dry but um they do say to put it on your ne i've never put it on my neck before so this is like a first time that i'm doing this with you guys but that's fine doing different stuff I'm gonna let this dry, then I'm gonna take a shower, wash it all off. You can wash it off in the sink. I just feel like, especially now, cause I put this all over here. Never used to do anything crazy with my skin, just like very basic. I used to wash my face with Dove every day in the shower. And pretty much it. Up until like maybe like two years ago, I started like buying more like daily skin moisturizer just because I did my research and I'm like, damn, I'm trying to have my skin look flawless until I'm 80. I don't want to look old. I'm not the type. I'm definitely going to be one of those people that are I hope I'm not one of those people that is old and I dress like I'm young or anything like that because I definitely feel like I'm going to have a young soul where I'm going to just, well, not a young soul, but I don't know. But yeah, I'm just like, damn, wish we could stay young forever, right? But it's Friday night, guys. I didn't go out and I definitely did make me a little beverage. But, um, so yeah. Oh my gosh. All right, guys. So right before I get in the shower, because <clears throat> almost jumped in the shower without showing you guys what it looks like when it's officially dry on your face. There is no dark slate gray kind of color going on here. Everything is pale ash gray and yeah so i'm about to go take a shower and wash this off i am back guys you can see here i have a little bit of redness so that's the thing that the um asset clay will do because it's like on your skin so it's kind of like suffocating your pores pores it's closing your pores so it does make your skin that's why your skin kind of tightens because it feels a bit suffocated so it kind of shrinks and shrivels so the point is for it to close your pores so you may see some redness here and there but um 
what I will be applying on my face is L'Oreal Collagen Moisturizing So I've been using this for super long. I've been using this for like a few years now. I've stopped using it a few times. Then I've came back to use it. But as I said earlier, I was using the Sephora brand sleeping cream to see what it would do to my face. I felt like it was whack. I feel like this definitely um helped because I have an area here this line right here it had went away for a while and then I guess I stopped using this baby and she is back she is back to letting me know and reminding me of all of my emotions sidebar um this was all blonde before and I recently like when I cut this off last night I had to just bleach it all black and with all of these products I'm putting on my face to wash my face, it's just like apparently. <laughs> canceled out that black hair dye. So here I am looking untamed, unloved. But I'll have to fix that tomorrow because we all know I'm loved. But you guys, to be honest, like. <clears throat> My skin does feel amazing, by the way. Hey guys, that was the last thing. I'm going to also do my lip exfoliant, but since I don't actually have the product to show you guys, um, let me see. So yeah, guys. That was the last thing. I'm gonna also do my lip exfoliant, but since I don't actually have the product to show you guys, um, let me see, one second. So I have this sample of the Lineage, their ex lip exfoliant. I only got a sample of it, like, last weekend. I've used it once. It's cool. I will be honest, I'm not sure what it does, if it's even doing anything, but I like how it feels. And I like to think that it's doing something. So for the sake of not neglecting my lip and my face routine, I am using it. And I will get I do plan on getting the sample size of the lip and all of the other one. There's like a sample size because I have the Berry lip gloss. Popping, 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 popping. Like, definitely get it. That's That lip gloss makes me feel fucking cute. That lip gloss... I feel like my face can look dry and crazy during the week, like if I don't go nowhere, like not really dry and crazy, I just feel like when I look my most trade, my most masculine, I'd be looking boring and whatever, but compared to like when I go somewhere nice and I want to get real cute, yeah, like even if your face is looking real basic, like just the gloss of this just makes you feel so good and popping, which it's when you feel good that says more than the physical your physical can like look great but if you don't feel great it will show so if you look like shit and you feel fine as fuck it's gonna do more for you let me just show you one. this is what the actual lineage lip glowy balm bitch you be glowing Fruits berry, fruits rogue. But this is it. This is what little mom was talking about when she's like, Ooh, My lip gloss is cool, my lip gloss be popping. I'm sitting at my locker. This is it. I've never cared besides Aquaphor. Never gave a fuck about a lip product as much as I do about this. 
so yeah guys that's all for my skincare night skincare routine so now that i did all of that it took hours i feel you know when you're recording things it always feels like 10 hours but now that i did all of that i'm about to hit the hay so hopefully you guys like that give me a thumbs up and subscribe let me know your thoughts and what you would like to see me do more videos of down below and yeah hopefully hopefully once this is all edited and everything like that it looks popping again ignore this and this i look scary i look scary so if you write that in the comments i will accept it i will accept the criticism because i know it's true peace